Hi guys, I'm Tom from the Zero Turnaround team. We want to keep this under 2 minutes, so here we go. Chain Rebel saves you time by eliminating redeploys of your application. This is how coding looks when your team uses Chain Rebel. Here we have an application that displays all the veterinarians in the system. What we want to do is to add another page that displays all the pets in the system. We'll map it under pets.do. We start off by making a copy of our current pets JSP and name it pets JSP. Here we have the file, and now we need to map it to the new URL. To achieve that, we introduce a new method pets handler into our controller that's mapped under the new URL. Go back and we see that we have the mapping in place, and now let's add some real data to it. We'll be adding a new method get pets to the clinic here. The clinic is an interface, so we'll add the new method, and we still need to add the implementation. So let's add a, the getPets method here also. So it does a SQL query in the, into the database and returns all the pets. Let's go back and nothing has happened. We still need to edit the pets JSP and rename the vet list into the pet list. Go back and we see that pets don't have a first name. I do know that they have a name, so I'll be just deleting all the rest from the that's vets specific. Now we're able to see the pets in the system, but we we would want to see the owners of the pets also. Let's go back to our JDBC and add a new method called getOwner for pets, and let's invoke it from our get pets. So this one sets an owner to all the pets. Nothing has happened yet. Let's add the owners here, and we'll be showing the first name and call it owner. And now all the pets have an owner too. What's cool about this is that I didn't have to redeploy even a single time and I was able to build some real functionality into my application. I saved time, stayed focused and got my work done. This really adds up and it's easy to get started, so try JRebel out on your project today.